And Carl Yastrzemski, super collector with the most insane card room ever. Yeah, I got to do a video on that. Hey, it's Mike. Thanks for tuning back in. Today is Wednesday. This is a super collector video. The last super collector video I did, uh, I got a little criticism. Somebody was really, they were, they were big mad in my comments that I was hurting the super collector community and super collectors were all up in arms over my video because the guy wasn't a true super collector and apparent. And I asked him, how do you define super collector? And he wouldn't answer me. But I feel like this one is, is safer maybe for the super collector community. I don't know. I'm not, a, I'm not the judge of super collectors myself. Uh, so before we get into this, and he's not just a Yaz super collector. He's, he is a super collector in general, super space collector. Uh, just the most amazing collection, but the most amazing collection room, hobby room. Uh, I did a video on this room and this collector well, last winter. Dan uh, is a longtime subscriber, but Dan sent me a couple photos of this hobby room back in the winter, and I did a video on it, and it is my fourth most viewed video ever. So Dan hit me up with some more recent photos on Twitter recently, and I said, I got to do an update. I also wanted to ask him the standard questions that I've been asking super collectors recently, which I wasn't able to ask him back in the winter when I first did a video on him. Uh, so I'm going to go through that. As I mentioned, Dan is a Yaz, has the most amazing Yaz collection. Uh, not young Yaz, Carl Yastrzemski, uh, the Hall of Famer, not Mike Yastrzemski, the non-Hall of Famer. No disrespect to Mike Stremski, nice player. Uh, so I asked Dan, how long have you collected? And I'm going to put up photos here as I go through because there's there are a bunch of photos and I think they're all pretty amazing of his room and his collection, how organized everything is. So I asked him how long he's collected. He said he collected from 1987 to 2004 and then picked it back up again in 2019 through now. I asked him, if, are you a Yaz slash Red Sox super collector? He said he thinks so. He has a, over 3,000 Yaz cards uh, with a mix of playing years and more modern cards, of course. And he, the modern cards he has are uh, unbelievable. Uh, he has 55 plus Yaz autographs. It feels like more than that based on the pictures, but he probably just has them all in one picture. So I asked him how he became a Yaz Red Sox super collector. He said he grew up in Rhode Island, which is part of Red Sox country, and his grandparents were big Red Sox fans, and their favorite player was Yaz. So that rubbed off on him. Uh, I asked him the item he hasn't been able to find anywhere. He says he needs a, a 2021 Topps 1986 design black number to 50 autograph to complete the rainbow. So if you have it, let me know. Uh, he needs the 2023 Topps 1988 design red number to 10 to complete that rainbow. And most recently, the 2023 Topps Chrome Gilded Superfractor to complete that rainbow. He does have the complete 2022 Topps Chrome Gilded Rainbow with the Superfractor. Amazing. I asked him the items that he can find but can't afford. A PSA 9 or higher Yaz rookie. Uh, he's... Uh, he has his eyes on but hasn't been able to afford. I'll put up a picture of one here with price. I, I forgot to look it up before I started the video. I asked him what else he collects. He is a set builder and the photos that are coming here are amazing. He has every Topps flagship set from 1970 to current. He has unopened wax boxes from the junk wax era. He has every box across all card companies from 1986 to 1992 except 92 Bowman. That's his last one to get. Vintage cards of Hall of Famers. He collects modern cards of the best rookies. Just about a little of everything, he says. And I encourage you, if you're interested, go back, pause the photos, and look through the cards that he has collected. It's, it's staggering. The, the PSA 10s of ultra modern guys, uh, he just, and the, every big rookie, every big card, he has it all. And he even has quite a fair number, a fair amount of vintage in there. I asked him, what's, the, what's your favorite item in your collection? He says that it's his SGC 8 1967 Yaz card. He says, I know the story. This is from, I think it was my video where I asked, favorite childhood card. 
and I shared his story. Uh, he pulled the 1986 Canseco from a pack back in 1989-ish at a card shop and traded it for the 1967 Yaz. Seems like a pretty good trade to me. I asked him for his most valuable card in his collection. He said his PSA 8 Yaz Rookie. So, yeah, I mean, that's pretty good. PSA 8, I don't, again, I'll put up a picture of rough value of a PSA 8 Yaz Rookie. Um, I, I, I neglected to look it up, but just amazing, amazing stuff, Dan. I... Dan lives in New York. If he had lived in Boston, I think he's from, and I know he said he grew up in Rhode Island, but I, for some reason I thought he was from Boston, but maybe not. He lives in New York. I would love to go to New York and see his, his hobby room. I wish it were a closer drive. Also, since this is a Yaz video, I want to encourage you, in this, today is Wednesday, tomorrow, Thursday the 16th is my, uh, PSA sale of 60, 59 or 60 80s Hall of Fame cards, rookies. Uh, you can get them. It's on Whatnot. The link is in the video description here. You can get many of these cards for well under the cost to grade the cards. Uh, and, you know, they're PSA 5s to PSA 8s, roughly. Uh, and I've got a bunch of them at, I don't know, 9 bucks maybe. So you can get some really cheap slabs. Shipping is cheap as well. Uh, yeah, I mean, great, great opportunity for you. And I'm giving away a Yaz Rookie, PSA 4. You just need to be in that live stream, and you need to be following me on whatnot, and you will be entered to win. It's at 6.30 p.m. Eastern Time, Thursday night. Make sure you're there. Um, that's it for today. Again, as I always say, if you are a super collector, and you uh, want to share your story with me, you can email me at thejunkwaxhero at gmail.com. That's it. Thanks very much for watching.